thank you for being here. Um, second of all, I spoke with my mother this morning and I told her I want to say something short and profound. And she said, short is better than profound. <laughs> <laughs> so, she's so smart. Um, I just want to say a few things. One, first of all, thank you. Maria McConnell is here from the mayor's office in Sacramento. This is why we're here tonight. So grateful to have this opportunity to bring forth wave to your incredible city. Um, thank you to my phenomenal partners, Tracy, Cheryl, Melanie, who has made this all come together this evening in such a beautiful way. Um, and I, I'm gonna go off to the side for a moment to make a point. I think you're going to be hearing a lot about Fourth Wave. We have our website. We just got that incredible article on Forbes and hopefully lots more to come. And you're going to be hearing the stories about our founders. So I just wanted to throw out a little something different in terms of food for thought as a takeaway for the evening. Um, how many of you are familiar with Paul Hawkins? Anybody? Big guru on climate change. He's really quite incredible. And he's got a book out called Drawdown. So, um, for many years, uh, of course, there's been all this incredible work that's being done around the world around climate change, and everyone's saying, what's the plan? You know, what are we going to do to reverse this? Including Paul Hawkins saying, what's, what's going to happen? And no one really had the answer. And I think 2013, he decided, you know what? We're going to go out and we're going to figure out what a plan could look like. So they decided they were going to come up with 100 things that could be done to really make an impact. Not solar panels, not recycling, but really, let's look at it differently. Let's check everything out and you know, let's see what we met with. So, list of 100. Number six, family planning. Number seven, educate girls. Mm. You wouldn't think those would be right up there. You're thinking, I mean, I would think land use, water, food, soil, the obvious things. And you put those two together, they supersede what comes before one through five. Investing in women is also in there. It's further down, but it's also really important. So I say that, and I'm going to come back into this room, to say that we feel like as that is something where it isn't the obvious, but it has an incredible ripple effect. And once you drill down, you see, oh, obviously, of course, family planning. So the girl doesn't get married and pregnant at 14 and have six children. She actually gets educated and can have a business and provide for her family and her village. And it goes on and on, and you see how it all makes sense. So here we have these incredible women with us tonight who are our founding cohort for Sacramento. And obviously, it's, we're not solving global warming, but I do think that we are starting also our own kind of ripple effect, where it is, of course, about helping these women become successful and get funding and move on and really manifest their visions. It's also lending itself to the narrative around what it means to be a female business owner in the world, the story for Sacramento, what it means to work with mayoral offices and the impact that local governments can have. And it just goes on and on. So just something to think about as we're here together and later as you hear the stories uh, from these women. Is it the ripple effect? Is that kind of like a wave? I, I, mean, yeah. <laughs> I, I would think say it's like the fourth wave. <laughs> I know, good idea. Um, and and uh, Tracy, you want to say a few words? So I'm going to turn it over to her and step aside. Um, two quick things. First of all, thank everyone for being part of this village that is making Sacramento uh, this incredible uh, innovation ecosystem. That's some two big words, but what it really means is um, amazing people leaning in hard from where they live and work, um, where they invest. They're taking risks. They're doing it together. Um, this city is quite literally exploding at its ecosystem seams, and that is an exciting thing. And I've been sort of in it for the better part of a decade. So you're all a, a critical part of why it is what it is. Um, you're going to get a chance to get to know the human beings behind the CEO sh ship leadership. They're origin stories, their companies, these are, I'm just going to use Tracy's language, I don't need to change myself to y'all, badass women, um, but, but they're badass leaders and they're, they have extraordinary companies and extraordinary technology. And frankly, one of, one at least two are pointing their solutions that are global that could have 
massive effects on famine and disease prevention and cancer and a variety of other things. Um, there's an incredible uh, DNA-baked um, approach that all of them have uh, that has to do with double and triple bottom line approaches to what they're doing. It, it, they're not teaching themselves how to do that. Nobody's teaching them how to do that. It's just part of, part of the core. Um, it's so exciting. We had 20 amazing applicants. Um, and we were underfunded, and it was a very compressed application period. So I imagine if we got a six months runway, it, it would have been probably triple that. It was very um, challenging, actually, to, to narrow a group. Um, but we are really committed to quality this year, to removing barriers um, to real scale and growth, solving capital problems, delivering capital where, where it's required and needed. Um, this is the beginning of a community that we think is a different kind of community. Um, we are not your traditional grinding pitch over weekends. Um, that is not what we're doing, and we, we hope that we're contributing um, a slightly different view um, of how to really grow high quality companies. And lastly, um, I'm also um, a tech entrepreneur, and I probably always will be. Um, this was a labor of love for me. Uh, I started by saying, yeah, I'd love to introduce you to a few people. <laughs> and, um, and I think it will continue to be a labor of love. Um, and I've set aside real time um, because uh, there are women and men who did the same for me. And the value that we have for each other um, in this community is amazing. Mm -hmm. the most diverse city, one of the most diverse cities in the world. Um, and it's, a, it's an absolute pleasure. It's a complete joy and an honor to work side by side with you. Um, thank you to all who came from the four corners of the, the world, and including Sausalito, because that's a long ways away. <laughs> and um, thank you for being here. Cheryl?